Justin, why did you first list the Unicorn Fund on the JSC? Thank you, Andrew. We launched the fund on the JSC first for two reasons. Craig and I have always been cognizant of uh, investor costs and also, you know, transparency. We've always wanted to, uh, via Anvro, make sure clients know exactly what they're investing in. For us, you know, working with our partners there, which were UBS and ABSA as our market maker, and obviously listing on the FTSE JSC, it gave us an ability to show clients a track record and also a look through where there was absolute certainty around what the returns were and who was calculating them. The other thing we felt was at the time that having a listed portfolio on the JSC and being able to visualize that return through the, the likes of either a UBS or an ABSA um, being our market maker will give clients an understanding of what we're trying to do and be able to track that, that track record into any kind of portfolio uh, metric that they want to use. So rolling back, one can look back and see exactly what that was. The idea that came from that was in our business, we had a lot of clients, wealthy clients and institutional clients who had come to Ambro looking for building blocks that we had to provide them for different needs. And so the first start for us was to go with a listed product um, on, the, on the JSC, which gave clients that building block. We now want to move forward and with the launch of the unit trust, expand that universe and allow the monthly investor and investors who have access to buy their financial advisors or directly to investments on a platform to have the same access, but via unit trust, via Momentum, Glacier, and BCI. 